I want to do meaningful work. I want to leave an imprint. And I want to have some joy in what I do. Hi, my name is Jack Liu. I graduated from CIA in 1971. I went to my first few classes and then we had a figure drawing class. And I looked at the quality of the work here and I'm going like, oh my gosh. These students are really good. I might have been the best in little old Wichita, but here, these students are amazing. So I got my first set of grades in figure drawing. I received a D plus. I called my parents. I said, I think I'm in the wrong place. I need to come home. And I said, you know, I can't go back to Kansas. I was too humiliated. So I said, you know what? You know what? I'm, I'm just going to do something. So I remember that very next day I bought a brand new sketchbook. Okay, I'm going to draw in this sketchbook every day. I'm just going to draw and draw and draw. And if it doesn't work out, I'm going back to Kansas. But I'm going to draw. I'm going to improve. I filled up the whole sketchbook. So at the end of the semester, A minus. My major back then was illustration. Worked in the industry for a little while. Went on to Syracuse University and got my MFA degree and started teaching immediately upon graduation. I would work intensely for three days in the classroom and then I had the other time to work in the studio to continue to pursue my art. Disney was looking for the next generation of animators. They came to the Kansas City Art Institute, which is where I was teaching because, primarily because of Walt. Walt Disney actually went to school there. Then ultimately they flew me down to Orlando to help structure what this internship could look like and ultimately develop the program. So that went on for a number of years and then one summer I was down there, the head of the studio called me into his office and said, Jack, have you ever thought about working for us? The title was, at that time, Manager of Artist Development. My responsibility was to provide the continuing education for the artist. It was a really fun job. I figured, you know, I can make myself even more valuable if I were to talk to the directors of the upcoming films. What can I do? What can my team do to help enhance the film? So the director would say, well, certainly I want them to paint a lot of outdoor painting and the look of this film is going to be in watercolor, so I need you to get them up to speed in using watercolor. Brother Bear, that was another film we worked on. So I talked to the director and he said, I want you to help me sponsor a trip to Alaska because I want to take a group of artists to Alaska so they can see what glaciers are like because we're going to have glaciers in this, in this film. You know, they did go to a glacier in Denali. They went there and they sketched, and they painted. They came back with a sketchbook, amazing sketchbook. And then a friend of mine from Disney went over to EA, the video game company, which was just across town. They had a big studio across town. I said, this is amazing stuff. You know? And he said, see, don't you want to come and work with us? I said, I think I do. And then I transitioned into global talent resources to uh, look for art talent on a global level. So my experiences just working with artists, having an eye for what is good art, my experience at Disney, working in the entertainment industry, my relationships that I built with the universities through Disney and through being a college professor really came into play. I learned so much in like six and a half years. So I think it's really important for somebody just coming out of school to see it as a important learning experience, especially that first job, because that first job is not going to be your last job. And if I were to advise today's students, students coming here, and I, I definitely recommend this school. Why? Because, again, you're going to be surrounded by like minds, and you're going to be surrounded by people better than you, probably. That's going to force you to work harder, to be, to be the best you can be. And, and fortunately, I've been, I've been in that kind of situation where I put into to an environment where I don't know as much as somebody else. I haven't had the same experiences, so what can I extract? How can I grow as a human being, as a professional? We have one life, we're moving forward, and I want to grasp experience as much as I can along the way.